Hi, and welcome back to Educator.com. Today's segment of our theory class will be chord inversions. We will be inverting triads and seventh chords, so we'll just explain what it is, how to create it, what it's called, how to notate it. Okay, let's talk about root position. Root position, hmm. It sounds strong like the root of a tree. It is strong. We're using the tonic note as the bottom. And we will start with a G as an example. So here's our G, B, D. Here is our triad, G, B, D. This is, in the key of G, this is one. Okay, this is called root position because the key that we're in is on the bottom, and then the third is in the middle, the fifth is on the top. These numbers that you see up here, basically, these are in parentheses because what this is illustrating is just the intervals. Between the first note and the third note is a third. Between the first note and the fifth note is a fifth. Three, five. When we are using these numerals, this is called figured base. This is a system of notation that tells you from the base note, from your G, if you're playing a chord and you know you're in the key of G, and you're playing a G here, you know the other notes in this chord are a third above G and a fifth above G. So we don't need to write five and three for capital Roman numeral one in the key of G. Because when you have this, you understand that the third interval and the fifth interval are already there. This capital one in the key of G tells you that you are going to be playing a one chord in the key of G. So let's play the one chord in the key of G. Here we go. Root position. From the first note to the third note, one, two, three. From the first note to the fifth note, one, two, three. Root position. We sometimes write the five, three to illustrate this point when we're learning about inversions, but generally, if you see, so we'll write a lower G, G, B, D. This is one. You don't need to write five, three. Okay, first inversion. So we have new numbers up there. Let's stick to G and this first inversion looks like this. So this is one, six, and we'll write in parentheses three. The reason why the six is more important than the three is because between the bottom note of our chord and the root, there are one, B, 2C, 3D, 4E, 5F, 6G. There are six notes between the bottom note and the root. There are three notes between the bottom note and the fifth. So the three is not necessary. If you write this and you write that underneath of it, 1, 6, that is immediately understood universally to be a symbol for a first inversion chord. This is the first inversion because we've taken the G and it's moved to the top. This is the first way you can invert the chord. Let's look at it. Makes a lot more sense to play it. So here's the root position. We're taking this G and we're just putting it on the top. It's still a G. It's still a G major chord. The thing that's changed is that we have a new note on the bottom. So our ears naturally gravitate towards the lowest tone of the chord, right? we have six there. Okay, between the bottom note and the next note above it, there are three. We don't need to write the three because that's implied. Okay, so let's move on.